What's up guys, we're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. Alright, this is Crash of the Titans uh, 131, number 131. It's gonna be weird, I'm gonna use Melinda May, it's Melinda May versus Nick Fury. I'm gonna be using her at 553, she's uh, base champ 270, and uh, I, I mean, I want the damage. It's only like 500 more extra damage with her red at level 5, so... You know, I know I might be losing some AP gen with her yellow, but it's okay. Because I'm not touching her stun. It's just going to be there. If I generate blue, I stun. More than likely, I'm going to win. But uh, it's weird because I'm going to be using match damage boost for yellow and red. And I, mean, I know I should be using it for blue, but I'm not going to. I'm going to be using AP boost for blue and uh, rainbow colored AP boost. All right, let's get into this. So 553 best build, you're gonna just basically wanna use red, uh, deal damage if you hit all the same tiles, which you can, you can just select them. And uh, let's see, he is at 13K, she's a 14, nine, five, six. And her yellow is, I don't know why I click it, like I think something's gonna happen. Uh, Stay in one piece. Whenever an ally takes at least 15% of their total health in damage, the ally is granted a burst of 977 health, which is not true heal. You don't keep the health after the match ends. Uh, true heal is the best heal in the game, by the way. If she had that, that'd be pretty cool for Forest Star Land. Um, once per turn, if an ally would deal at least 12% of the enemy's total health in damage, that ally gains 2 AP in their strongest color, which I'm assuming is red oh okay they're perfect um so just match i guess try to cause cascades if i can and do like match like cause crits match fives and stuff or try to match as much blue to stun which i'm probably gonna do right here assuming i'm gonna be able to do that if he doesn't match anything from right here which never mind <laughs> oh man i need red Oh no. Can I can I match red right here? No. Oh my god, give me a red match. Right here. Don't don't match this. No. Okay. Let's do this. I I was going to be able to, Oh my god. <laughs> I could have stunned them. Or I could have could have done that earlier. Okay, he's stunned. And then with her stun, basically, stunned for three turns. And whenever an enemy returns from stun, create a five-turn cannon tile. Targeting that character. While it's on the board, that character's match damage, or matches and powers deal 1,566 less damage. Which, that's basically GG's. And four star. We'll try to set up a match five. Let's see, we'll do that. He's gonna return from being stunned. We're gonna stun him again, so... And it doesn't stack. The stun, like the negating doesn't stack, which kind of, it's not good. It, they should let it stack. If it, if it does, that would be amazing. All right, so um, we're gonna deal a lot of damage if we match all the same colors. Boom. Boom. So 2,500, right? Yep, 27. Okay, there we go. Let's see. What can we do here? Nothing really. Let's just get that blue tile. This is pretty simple. I mean, it, yeah, it's easy for me to say that because I got a champ, uh, Melinda May, right? But like, I mean, it's not it's not fun or it's not difficult which those are the two things that you want in crash of the titans one of the most difficult like this basically tells you where you're at in your account if you can beat 90 percent of the crash of the titans you're good if you can't then you got a lot of work to do and i know that's not that, like that's stupid of me to say but it is what it is and, and it's true basically right all right, he's gonna be dealing no damage to me, right? Like zero, one, like one? Yeah, one, okay. Blue, we're gonna stun again. He got nine yellow. You know what? 
I'm gonna let him match that yellow up here. No? Okay, he's gonna take that. He's gonna hit me with... His yellow cost 10. Okay, so we'll just do this. There's no way he's gonna kill me at all. He's gonna stun me though, I think, right? Yep, stun me. Please don't tell me it's for more than two turns. Yep, okay. I might have just ate my own words. And he stole AP from me? Yo, I messed up. Did I? No. <laughs> I thought I did. Okay, stun. Obviously, I couldn't stun when I was stunned, but GG's. All right, so I think this is... This is... GG. Green. Red. Okay, red. Sure shot. Okay, now let's try to cause a cascade. Two, three, four... We're not going to be dealing that 25. We're going to be dealing 18, but we did cause a cascade, dealing a lot more damage. <laughs> We're going to be doing it again. Oh, I wonder. Two, one, two, three. Oh, no. One, two. No. Oh, wait. Dude. Cascade. Right here. Perfect. Perfect setup. Okay. That's it, right there. Boom. He. What? what? I'm leaving that. I'm. I'm. Uh, okay. Uh, on to the next. All right, we're literally back, like right back in it. I'm using this support just because, it, 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 like, when the supported character makes a red match, there's a 33.57% chance to gain two extra red AP. That's basically like a cheat code, right? And I wonder what I. I'm going to try to get it to rank 5. Don't know if I'm going to be able to. But uh, we're going to not let him hit us for any damage. We're going to do that. We generate red. And I'm just doing... I'm using all match damage boost. I even used 100 hero points to straight up just... Get as much match damage as possible. And red is still our strongest color. Yeah, wait. Uh, yes, red is still our strongest color. We're going to stun. We're just going to match him away. Okay, blue, and we need bump, bump, bump. blue. We need as much blue as possible. We're just gonna match him away. That was the craziest thing. I didn't like. I didn't pay attention to when he used demolition. Like, that's ridiculous. Nick Fury is just a beast, dude. All right, so we're gonna get all these tiles out of the way. We're not really dealing that much match damage, obviously, because we're not matching the tiles that are our strongest. Okay, so we do that. Okay, so the support did something else. Uh, when the supported character makes a purple match, there's a 38.37% chance to gain two purple. Oh yeah, this is busted. At the start of the turn, uh, there's a 41.97% 41 chance to create a one turn count on tile that heals Deadpool. Okay, this is for Deadpool. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. Get red. The board is not, like it's just, it's just not in our favor. Demolition literally just destroyed us. That was hilarious because I was at a loss for words. I just didn't know what to say. I was just like, what? Hello? Bonus red? Yes. Oh my god, the clutch. One, two, three, four? Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Okay, we're still going to do that. Okay. Now he has enough for... No, Demolition's 10. How can we beat... Okay, so we're gonna make a match right there, blue. Alright. Even if he's stunned... And he still didn't... Oh yeah, it's 10. It's 10. We're gonna stun him again. Oh my god. Nick Fury is scary. Never mind, this is difficult. Forget what I said earlier. It is very diff... It's a very difficult matchup. Don't use the boost that I use. Straight up use match damage boost if you can. Or just put shield training at 5. Um, right now I have her at 5-5-3. Five, five, I prefer that build for this matchup just because I want the damage. Um, as you guys can see earlier, I got smacked up. Alright, so that, there, okay, there went my match 5. Um, now he has enough for demolition, we're gonna stun. Okay, we have to, and I mean we have to down him, oh yeah, it's GG's. Okay, so that was it. That was crazy. I'm not going to take up any more of your guys' time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was Crash of the Titans 131. Melinda May, four-star versus Nick Fury. As always, catch you guys in the next one.